In this video, guys, we're going to look at what is the 130 to 30 trading strategy. Hey traders, very warm welcome to you. So 130 to 30 strategy is a strategy used by hedge, fund, hedge funds, but it's also a strategy that you guys can use as well in your own portfolios. It's quite a nice way of doing things. It requires a little bit of extra work, but the idea is that if you're quite skilled at stock picking, you're gonna make some money from this, extra juice from this. So here's the idea. So really you have 100% of your portfolio invested. This is the 100%. So let's say you've got a segment amount of money that is gonna be invested in a large tracker almost portfolio. So a wide portfolio across the UK, the US, Germany, or whatever country specifically you're invested in. Then we have the 30 portion of it, which is selling short a basket of weak stocks. So we look for the weaker stocks. And I've put weak in kind of uh, commas here because uh, we don't know how weak, weak stocks are. But we're trying to pick stocks that are going to underperform. In a perfect world, we would pick stocks that are going to fall when the rest of the market rises. But weak is good because it means that we are trying to take advantage on the short side of those. And we're also going to add an extra 30% more invested in strong stocks. So we have this kind of of, of spread of stuff, you know, we have 100% here of just general tracker, 100%. Then we've got another 30% here of strong stocks, ideally thinking, hey, we're investing more into those strong stocks, giving more weight to those. So if those are picking up in value, we're gonna get more return on our investment. And then the final 30% here is shorting the weaker stocks limiting us a little bit from any downturns or any neutral market environment, but also the fact that you know it, it gives us just a better return if both of those things work out, i.e. those stocks are weak and they continue to go lower, and these stocks are strong and they continue to go higher, we are going to be making money on this portion of the trade, but we're also going to be making money on the broader trade. So we're not going purely into a stock picking perspective, we still have a broad market feel that when the market pushes up, we're going to be making money when the market falls down, we make money, but we've added a little bit of flavor into it here. So for example, let's say we've invested 10,000, it's got $10,000 to, to, to invest, same whatever money amount this is. We go long 10,000s worth of QQQ, which is the NASDAQ 100. So uh, we could trade the futures, we could trade spread, but we could trade CFD, or we could trade the ETF, the Qs. So in other words, we're just saying, hey, we want exposure to the NASDAQ and we've got $10,000 in here. But we also say, hey, this is not the 130-30 strategy, we need to do some extra stuff. So we now short $3,000 worth of the weakest stocks. Whatever we consider those to be in that index, it could be Apple, it could be Amazon, it could be any of any stocks that are in that index that we consider to be weak. I'm not saying those are weak, but we just pick out those and we'd short $3,000 worth. Then we'd also find or identify the strongest stocks in that group that we're looking at, in this case is NASDAQ 100, the Qs, and we'd add another $3,000 worth. Again, that could be Apple, that could be Amazon, could be any of those stocks. The idea being that if those then outperform, we're gonna make significantly more money than if we just had exposure to the market in general. So this is a long strategy. This is, of, this is used quite a lot by fund managers to justify kind of why you're paying a fee, because you could just buy a tracker. You know, no fund manager would say, well, I can give you, you know, 100% exposure long to the NASDAQ. You say, well, I just go out there and buy Qs myself, uh, paying X pounds, whatever it is to trade uh, with my broker. And I'll still get exactly the same returns. So this is a way of them still being kind of in line with the market conditions, but generating a little bit more alpha. And same for you, it's generating a little bit more juice. So rather than just tracking, you can say, hey, you know what? These are really weak, these, and I think they're going to continue to be weak. I'm going to add those to the short portion of the 30. These guys are really, really strong. I really want to get an extra boost. When these are really rallying and still rallying, I want to earn almost double for my money for these. So I want to go really much more aggressive on these. And the idea being that obviously those two choices and stock picking type of the, of the um, approach are gonna make the extra bit of juice, the alpha, the extra over the 100 that you've got already just passively invested into the um, index itself or whatever you're actually in, in, uh, investing in. So something to look at, I think it's an interesting way of approaching it. It's obviously a little bit 
between the whole stock picking and tracker. It's somewhere in between. It's a kind of good hybrid model. So if you still want exposure, but you think you can pick out those stocks that aren't doing so well or are doing so well, then maybe looking closer at the 130 to 30 strategy is something for you. Anyway, guys, whatever you do, keep the risk managed. Take care out there. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.